President Trump, you have two minutes. Why should Americans right. trust you over your opponent to deal with racism? We did a crime bill, 1994, where you call them super predators, African Americans, the super predators, and they've no, never sir. forgotten it. They've never forgotten it, Joe. No, no, sir, it's his two minutes. So you did that, and they call you a super predator, and I'm letting people out of jail now that you have treated the African American population community, you have treated the black community about as bad as anybody in this country. You did the 19, and that's why, if you look at the polls, I'm doing better than any Republican has done in a long time, because they saw what you did. You call them super predators, and you've called them worse than that. You got more okay. questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. The consensus is, A, we must take back the streets. It doesn't matter whether or not the person that is accosting your son or daughter or my son or daughter, my wife, your husband, my mother, your parents, it doesn't matter whether or not they were deprived as a youth. It doesn't matter or not whether or not they had no background that enabled them to have to uh, become a, a social uh, become socialized into the fabric of society. It doesn't matter whether or not they're the victims of society. The end result is they're about to knock my mother on the head with a lead pipe, shoot my sister, beat up my wife, take on my sons. So I don't want to ask what made them do this. They must be taken off the street. Unless we do something about that cadre of young people, tens of thousands of them, born out of wedlock, without parents, without supervision, without any structure, without any conscience developing, because they literally, I yield myself three more minutes, because they literally have not been socialized they literally have not had an opportunity. We should focus on them now, not out of a liberal instinct for love, brother, and humanity, although I think that's a good instinct, but for simple, pragmatic reasons. If we don't, they will, or a portion of them will, become the predators 15 years from now. And Madam President, we have predators on our streets that society has, in fact, in part because of its neglect, created. Again, it does not mean because we created them that we somehow forgive them or do not take them out of society to protect my family and yours from them. They are beyond the pale, many of those people. Beyond the pale. And it's a sad commentary on society. We have no choice but to take them out of society. And the truth is, we don't very well know how to rehabilitate them at that point. That's the sad truth. We must make the streets safer. I don't care why someone is a malefactor in society. I don't care why someone is antisocial. I don't care why they become a sociopath. We have an obligation to cordon them off from the rest of society, try to help them, try to change the behavior. That's what we do in this bill. We have drug treatment and we have other treatments to try to deal with it. But they are in jail. Away from my mother, your husband, our families. But we would be, being, we would be absolutely stupid as a society if we didn't recognize the condition that nurtured those folks still exist. And we must deal with that. You have to look at what he did, and what he did has been disastrous for the African-American community. If we have more police interacting with people, having them on the streets, we can prevent crimes. We can prevent petty crimes from turning into something worse. But we also have to have an organized effort against gangs, just as in a previous generation we had an organized effort against the mob. We need to take these people on. They are often connected to big drug cartels. They are not just gangs of kids anymore. They are often the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. We can talk about why they ended up that way, but first we have to bring them to heal.